Hello and welcome back to Disneyland. In December, I set up a poll on my blog asking you which area of the park you wanted me to build next. And the area that got the most votes is Fantasyland. So today, I've got Rapunzel with me, and we're going to visit my new and improved Fantasyland toy box. We'll take you on a quick tour of it, ride some of the attractions, and show you the final version. It looks very different from what I showed in my original Disneyland video nearly two years ago. I've been tweaking it and improving it, and I can't wait to show it off, so let's go! Okay, here we are in Fantasyland. My goal today is to just play through this toy box and have a bit of fun. We'll start building it next week. And just like the real Disneyland, we start off inside the castle, as you can see. This is the interior of the castle from the previous toy box. And we've got some gift shops over here. And we've got Peter Pan's flight over here. And this is a very large ride, and I just don't have the room for it in this toy box. So the ride is actually in a separate toy box, and you go through that door to access it. And we'll visit and build that at a future date. But this is the outdoor facade for that ride. And I tried to duplicate that as close as I could from the actual Disneyland. And then over here, we have Toad Hall. The ancestral home of J. Thaddeus Toad from the Wind in the Willows animated feature. And inside is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And again, that's a very huge area. So the uh, toy box store there takes you to that. And we'll visit and build that later. And then we have King Arthur's Carousel. This is one of the centerpieces of Fantasyland. And it was a very rewarding custom ride to build. And... Uh, some of you have been wondering how I managed to get the carousel horses on the carousel because you can't connect mounts to a path. But you can set mounts on top of the platform, and that's basically what I've done. So we can hop on and ride. And one of the downsides of that, unfortunately, is that the carousel horses do not turn with the platform they're sitting on, so they're always facing the same direction as you can see, and that's unfortunate. But one of the benefits of doing this is since the carousel horse is just sitting on top of the platform, you can pull a Mary Poppins and actually ride the carousel horse off of the carousel, <laughs> which is really cool. So I like that a lot. You can't do that at Disneyland. I thought that was pretty neat. And here, of course, we have the Sword of the Stone. Let's see if Rapunzel has what it takes to pull it from the stone. And she does. Now she's got a uh, sword on her back there. Whoops. <laughs> Don't attack the horse. Cool. All right, here we have Snow White's Scary Adventures. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to build this. Um, the toy box door limits us to just 10 toy boxes per toy box file. So I had to be really choosy about which rides I wanted to build, but I built the facade for it nonetheless. And so that's here. That's where that ride would be. And over here we have Rapunzel's Tower and some more gift shops. And then the entrance to Frontierland from here. So you can actually get to Frontierland now from Fantasyland. You couldn't do that before. So you don't have to go out through the hub to get there. And of course we can climb Rapunzel's Tower and get a nice uh, view of the park from here. So out that way is Peter Pan's flight and the castle where we came in and the carousel. And over this way, if we look down that direction, you can see Dumbo's ride down there and the Storybook Land canals, Small World and the Matterhorn off in the distance. And over there used to be uh, Casey Jr.'s Circus Train, and I removed that. Um, I just didn't have enough memory, and I also didn't have the train pieces that I need in order to build that and 
have it look like something I'd be happy with. <laughs> so I decided to take that out and put some other things in I instead. Hope there aren't any ruffians or thugs nearby. <laughs> and so I just kind of turned this little area into a restaurant area over here. Then of course we have Dumbo. So we can hop on and ride the Dumbo ride. And this just goes around in a circle and goes up and down just like the actual ride does at Disneyland. But it's kind of a fun little ride. It's actually more fun, I find, even to just walk by it and see Dumbo <laughs> flying around this thing. It just brings a smile to my face. I really like the, uh, the Dumbo character there. They did such a good job on that vehicle. And over here is the Storybook Land Canal Boats, and we'll ride that a little bit later. I'm just kind of giving you a good look at the park here. Over here we have the Mad Tea Party. And we'll go ahead and ride this one too. And this goes around and around, kind of like the uh, actual <laughs> ride and the teacups cross each other's paths. So I like that a lot. That's a, a fun one. I like the way they just kind of move around, very similar to way, the way the uh, actual ride goes. They don't just go in a circle. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. And I'll show you how to build that when we get there. And back over this way, we have the Alice in Wonderland ride. So we'll come over here and wait for the car to come around. That comes from a power disc also, that little vehicle. And this basically just goes around in a circle and you get to look at some of the Alice in Wonderland scenery. It's really how the rides are in Disneyland anyway, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Over here we have the entrance over into Tomorrowland. So once again you don't have to go out to the hub and then go through another toy box door to get to Tomorrowland. You can go directly there from here. So I really like how that turns out. And then we have the Matterhorn. So we'll come over here and ride this. I used to have the pine trees from Gravity Falls here. And I took those out and replaced them with the Rapunzel trees that I'm using everywhere else. Because uh, it saves quite a bit of memory. The fewer things you have in the toy box. So now we can ride this. And it used to be in the original Matterhorn ride that you could actually climb the Matterhorn. And of course you can do that here too. So we can actually climb the Matterhorn. I like that. And then you can kind of get a view of the park from up here. And this is really about as high as you can go. All right, and then over this way, we have Small World. And once again, I was not able to do the facade for this justice because I just don't have the memory in this toy box. So I just put the centerpiece for Small World here with a toy box door, and you can go through that door and see the full small world, and we'll do that again in a future video and visit and build that later. Of course, you've got the little button over here that you can push. And out come all of the little characters. So that's always fun, just to kind of watch them. 
and they're on both sides, but you can't really see the other side too clearly because you got the tree in the way here. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, lighthouse and the storybook land canal boats. And you can either wait for the boat to come around, which takes a little while, or we can push the button and the tree sets it. And here comes the boat now. And then we just hop on and ride. I like how this turned out. <laughs> It's really pretty with the Rapunzel textures there. And we got some little buildings back here like you see in the actual park. I couldn't do the miniature sets quite like they had it, but I put a few token pieces back here so you can kind of get a good look at it. I should probably put something there in front of all those flowers behind me, the ones she's looking at at the moment. But I tried to set up a few little unique areas in here. So you got a Dutch area over there and an Arabian area here. And then out we come. I just love the way this turned out. It looks so beautiful. Now before we wrap this up, I'm going to go back out to the main hub and switch to the nighttime sky and then I'll come back and give you one last look at this at nighttime and we'll wrap up our tour. And this is what Fantasyland looks like at night. Looks a lot different. But it's really pretty with all the lights. Just looks really cool. Lights up in that tree. Lights everywhere. The lights are lit up down at uh, Mad Tea Party. Castle back there and Toad Hall. Along the canal. Of course the lighthouse, that looks fabulous. And all the lights are lit up here at the tea party. Well, that's pretty neat. I just love how that looks. There's even some lights lit up over here in the Alice in Wonderland ride. Back there, so that's fun. The developers sure put a lot of attention into detail for lights and things. We've got a few over here at the Matterhorn entrance course along the canal on this side and nothing's really lit up over here at the uh, small world ride the light you saw up there at the top I think that was just the moonlight reflecting on those uh, flags and things up there I would have liked to have added another little collection quest to encourage exploration but I've got very little memory left I've used every last bit of it to build what I've got here but that's my final version of Fantasyland. Next week, I'll start showing you how to build it. We're going to spend the next six weeks or so working on this toy box, and I'll show you how I built all of my custom rides. Leave a comment to let me know what you think of my new and improved Fantasyland. And if you enjoyed my video today, please give it a like. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking my photo in the lower right corner, and that way you can follow along as I build this. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.